Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. This is Robot Wars, where tonight, Braves are definitely no match for Braun. In the pits are six robots from Britain's best universities. But in this challenge, there's no starters for ten. There's no conferring. Just get in there and bash the bolts out of your buff and opponents. <laughs> oh, yes. Time for a study in carnage. So, hey, let the wars begin. It's time to throw off the gowns and studious frowns. Time to lift and thrust and pound to dust. Time for scorch and scratch, revise, learn quick, or meet your match. Gathered around the war zone are the intellectual elite, taking time out from their extensive studies in the library to come hither and shout, pit, pit, pit. Should be educational. Let's crack on with round one. from Imperial College London, Infernal Contraption. Very similar to Robot Wars legend Stinger. Infernal Contraption, Imperial College team. Who are you going to smash and grab first? Um, that depends who we head towards first, really, right. and that's quite a random thing. But can you really cause any... I mean, apart from getting out of the way, can you cause any damage Oh, yeah, it? yeah, no, because this has been drowned at 1,000 RPM and weighs about 16 kilos. Yeah. This whole assembly can also flip over, so it's like a hammer and a disc. The spinning drum weapon gets up to speed in three seconds so they don't have to wait between attacks for it to recover, but the radio reception, I fear, is questionable. From the University of Hertfordshire, Bill. Experience from four UK Robot Wars championships, experience in defeat, that is. Representing the University of Hertfordshire, the Bearmoth team, they're back. Now, you've had a string of disasters. What's going to happen this time? We're going to win. Yes, you, do, you say that to me every time. <laughs> Robots we've been up against in the past, these ones here, not up to what, they, really? what we're used to. A bit, a bit they're, substandard. No, some of the spinners are good, but... You're not saying that they're, they're, they're a bit beneath you? No, well, we've, been, we've got experience, let's put it that way. Yeah, but you know better than to say things like that at yeah, this stage. Oh, yeah, I know, it's always backfire, but... Um... No, OK, so University of Hertfordshire, they're not in... You could say they're copy, but let's see what happens. Has the pneumatic flipper and axe tiger stripe bodywork spelling out warning, warning, manoeuvrable and quite speedy, but has no great history of longevity? From the Open University, CV. Newcomers to Robot Wars, they could be giving a real robotic lecture here. Now, Open University team, you're up against some big universities here. Who would you most like to see out first? I'd, we'd like to see Infernal Contraption out first, because they're probably the ones going to inflict the most damage upon our Aha, <laughs> little okay. Belt. All right. Now, interchangeable robots is the way forward. The weaponry can be all swapped around. So an axe and a flipper, which one first? Uh, the axe, definitely. Why? It inflicts the most damage. OK, that's yes. what we want to say. Thank you very much, Open University team. Good luck. Thank you very much. The axe, flipper or spike interchangeable weaponry is hidden in the central bay. Two-wheel driven, two casters at the rear. Good armour, but poor speed, really. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. Bayer Moth, Anthony Pritchard, Kane Aston and Michael Pritchard. And together, Infernal Contraption on the left, captained by Jonathan P. Lyons. CV on the right, captained by John Barker. In the arena for the house robots, Dead Metal with the serrated saw and the pincers. And Sir Killalot, those huge grappling claws. So they fear Infernal Contraption, but it's Bayer Moth who comes slamming in. To Infernal Contraption and the Imperial College students straight away. They were very confident. The University of Hertfordshire boys bear them off. They have experience of many a Robot Wars UK Championship fight. They have to watch that spinning drum though on Infernal Contraption. It has four big metal teeth on the drum. You're trying to see there the CV Open University axe coming down. CV is flipped. Will it be able to right itself? Bearmoth's bucket scoop got in and underneath there. 
very similar to a previous UK championship winning machine called Roadblock in many ways. Bam off with the front bowl bulldozer scoop blade weaponry. CB's axe doesn't seem to be able to cause any sort of damage at all. They're driven it into the CBZ and Bear Moth look very, very strong here. Anthony Pritchard is driving. Michael Pritchard, his brother, is at the weaponry. Kane Aston is the engineer of the team. But have they ground to a whole Bear Moth? They've stopped right in the middle of the arena. And they are perplexed. Infernal contraction on the attack. You're seeing there the CV team, they're still moving. Bearmoth had started magnificently, but what is going on there saying? The ref bot is coming in. I don't believe it is a reaction from the Bearmoth team. Stunned. Great start. Burnt themselves out. Look at that. They'll be crying all the way back to the lecture theatre tonight because Bearmoth are no giants of the Robot Wars University Challenge. The battery has come out, is the excuse from the Bearmoth team. That is bitterly disappointing for them. They had looked potentially destructive, very aggressive, well-controlled, stylish. And now, crestfallen, as the CV team look on, buffeted by infernal contraction, they will survive to fight in the second round of this University Challenge on Robot Wars. Bayamoth are about to be flung to oblivion. Big, heavyweight, 100 kilos machine onto the flame pit. I wonder now if they regret writing CV, if they'd left it alone. Would the batch have stayed in? Would Bearmoth have stayed in? Will the boys tell us? Oh, I don't know. They don't seem in the mood for talking. Whoa! Bearmoth were doing so well, but they've gone and blown it again. CV, an infernal contraption, through to the next round. Wish, particularly on your face, I have to say, Anthony. How do you feel? Very annoyed. Very annoyed. Is it? Was it anger? Or was it? I Everything. Mean, <laughs> every emotion went across yeah. your face. What was it that stopped you? We've lost a wire on the link. That's it. That's that, it. That loose connection. Now, the thing that was probably most poignant about that battle was if you hadn't turned CV back over you probably would have won because they would have been yeah, unmovable before. It's all down to bad luck. It would just be nice, same way we've uh, flipped Deator back and forth before. It looks good Did and you, we've proved our power. That's why you, were doing, you only just flipped them over to be nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we've learnt a lesson, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Fix the link. Yes. And I won't say anything about you being so confident before because that would be me. Never stopped you in the past. Bearmoth are out. Fluffy Infinity and Tiberius 3 are next up. From Loughborough University, Tiberius 3. Very razor esque. They must be game and sporty too if they're from Loughborough. The robot is back, new, improved, and with wings. Look! Can it fly? Uh, should do. <laughs> it flies. Well, you're from Loughborough <laughs> University. This is the Tiberius team. Now, this is just a brace for safety that's in the pit. What have you got here, then, in terms of tonnage? Uh, uh, about five ton ram. So uh, it should wow. give about three tons on the tip. Right. Very similar to Razor, really. University-wise, who do you really want to grind into the arena floor? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know grudges? No. Too peaceful. Fluffy. Too peaceful. <laughs> Fluffy. Fluffy. Yeah, right, OK. I knew it would be in there somewhere. <laughs> Please for it. Fairly fast, highly manoeuvrable with a powerful hydraulic crushing weapon as we've seen good control, low ground clearance, tough armour, which is rare for a crusher that is slow self-writing. From the University of Wales, Infinity. And 
beyond, they'll hope, with this powerful push-up. Brett, this is University Challenge. What does it mean to Aberystwyth to win it? It'll be a very good free advert for Aberystwyth University, I think. A free advert? For goodness sake, where's your spirit? <laughs> Now, how strong are these floors? Um, we're not sure. We'll find out in a minute, I think. <laughs> Is that strong enough to get through 15 mil still? Probably not. <laughs> That's Tiberius might, for you. We might scratch it. <laughs> now, the one you were worried about was Fluffy. Yes. Uh, because you said to me, what, what were you most looking forward to about we, this? Well, we were quite confident we'd be able to push anything around in this heat because, well, we're very, very powerful at pushing things around. And they've showed up with a nice new petrol engine. Yeah. Which kind of negates that. So that means they're even more powerful. Yes, I get they're even more so powerful again. So basically, your claws aren't going to get through Tiberius. You're not powerful enough to push Fluffy around. Is this going to be a complete unmitigated disaster for Aberystwyth University? No, not Good. yet. <laughs> Positive thinking, Steve. How are